Hi guys, Sergeant Vaughn here, Sony First MEU, and today we'll be going over the new mod that Drongo just came out with, Drongo's D-Bag, which essentially overhauls and makes the AI a friendly, your friendly tank AI is very aggressive. <clears throat> Not only do they become smarter and more aggressive, but they also learn prioritization of targets, such as biggest threat. So, so here we have main battle tank of the T-72A, an IFV, and a BTR-80A, and a heavy-duty anti-armor squad with a bunch of shitheads with RPGs, and I believe this guy's got like a cornet or something on his back. <clears throat> no, two cornets. So, a lot of heavy-duty stuff that can cause me nothing but harm. <clears throat> So how this mod works is it's going to be in the on position. What I'm going to do is we're a little, at a berm right now. So I'm going to come up over the berm onto this little platform here. And immediately the AI is going to start, you know, thinking which of the three do I need to engage. Well, more than likely it's going to engage the main battle tank. That's the biggest threat to itself. And I'll engage it with this cannon. But once it destroys that T-72, it'll engage the BTR-80A. And then it'll finish them off. Finish off this anti arbor squad with some coax. <clears throat> but enough talk, now to show you exactly what I said and how it would compare to normal operation. And Drago does have a video of his mod and work of vanilla AI operation versus his mod. So I'm just going to skip straight to the case and just show you D bag with in operation. <clears throat> Before I do that, so turret, I'm not doing anything. The turret's already identifying. I'm just checking. I am using a trophy HD by Drongo as well, so those pesky little rockets can't start shooting at me. So engine's on. And first thing I'm going to do for my commander seat is I'm going to go ahead and designate the gunner to fire on that T-72A. So come up. And we're still a little bit low. So we'll go ahead. We have a, our EPS up. So we'll just go ahead and step, step up here on this berm. Target destroyed. Next, we'll have him designate that BTR-80. And the APS is just working, working fine. Yep, still working fine, just deploying smoke. Yep, and still working. Those guys really want to shoot rockets at me, so. And again, if you can't get them to work with the main gun, you can always take over control or Simply just hit the shift key. We can always cut through here, give them a little bit of a better view. Yep. BTR-80 destroyed. So it destroyed the BTR-80. And now it switched to coax. It doesn't help. It hurts. It doesn't hurt to get it moving. You know, I know we're, a, you might be a little standoffish, but you get it moving. You know, this is a, well, extremely accurate tank. Everything's geo stabilized. So we move up, move up, and as you can see, yep, right there. We got guys right here. So we'll go ahead and back up. And I, without even doing anything, the only thing I'm doing is driving at the moment. Gunner's doing everything here. It's very accurate, very sustained, and it tells you what you're doing in the left hand, left bottom corner, engaging rifleman RPG with the M240. If I try to switch into the M2, probably can't get you to get him to shoot, shoot at the infantry with the M2. He'll probably save that for something lighter or a little bit heavier, like a Jeep. But as you can see, two targets destroyed. And he prioritized everything in order. It's the T-72, the BTR-80, and the infantry group. Well, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, I'm Sergeant Bond, 71st Mew. Peace.